So we all know that water is the essence of life, but what's the best water filtration or purification system for your style of camping or hunting? In this video, we're gonna introduce you to a few options coming up. Hey everybody, Michael Batiste from the Elk Calling Academy, where we give you the blueprint for success in the elk woods. On this channel, we do elk call reviews, gear reviews, elk calling lessons, tips, and tutorials just like this one. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on future videos. All right, water, we have to have it. So now when we go camping or hunting, what's the best option for your style of camping or hunting to make water safe for drinking? Well, there's a few options out there. Option one is you can certainly boil water. The only problem with that is you have to boil that water at a rapid boil for a good period of time, which means a lot of that water is going to turn into vapor. It's just going to evaporate during the boiling process. So you have to boil quite a bit of it to be able to get enough to drink. Second option is iodine tablets. They are highly effective, but the only thing with iodine tablets or water filtration tablets is you have a period of time that you have to drop those in the water, let them dissolve before it's safe to drink. And they do add a little bit of flavor to the water. And most of the time it's not a pleasant flavor. So what other options do you have? So when it comes to water filtration, you really have a few options. You have gravity fed, you have squeeze, you have pump. We're gonna talk about four of them today to kind of give you an example. So first off, let's start with base camping. Base camping is where you go in your vehicle, where you stop, that's where your camp is. So weight's not an issue. So now one thing that I like to do when I head out camping or hunting camp is I will get a gallon of drinking water, just a gallon jug, and I'll use that. Then once that's empty, I'll use one of my preferred choices in base camp to refill that gallon jug. That way I always have a gallon of jug of water in camp. So one of the things that I really like to use at base camp is the Catadyne Base Camp. Now, they make two versions of it. They make a six liter and a 10 liter. This is the 10 liter. Retail on this is about $75. Um, it will do about two liters per minute. And what this does is you actually just fill this bag, you roll the top, and then you hang it in a branch. It does have a flow stop on the tube coming out. Now I'll just put this tube in the gallon jug and let this just gravity and filter out the water. Now it does have a filter on the inside of the bag that this filter is replaceable. Each filter will do about 396 gallons. Now that's just kind of recommended or what the manufacturer says. It really all depends on how dirty the water is that, you know, you're filtering. So weight on this is only 12.4 ounces, so it's not very heavy at all. It's a great tool that I have used in my base camp for years and have had great success with it. Okay, option number two for a base camp is a pump style. This is the Catadyne Vario, which is a dual chamber pump, and it just works with the pump action. So you drop the filter or pre-filter into the water source, you start pumping, and then the discharge tube. Now what's kind of neat about this one is it has an end that if you're using a wide mouth water bottle, you can screw this right onto the top of it and pump and disperse right in there. It does come with a discharge tube so that you could put it into your bladder or into your water bottle. You have a few different options there. Now the Catadyne will do about two liters per minute and it does have an internal filter in it that you can change out. That internal filter will do about uh, 300 gallons per filter. Weight on this one is 15 ounces and it retails for about $69. Okay, another option is a squeeze style or squeeze bag. 
So this is the Sawyer squeeze bag system, and they have a, a three kit, or a three bag kit, which comes with a 16 ounce, 32 ounce, and 64 ounce. Now the way this works is this has a filter that you screw right on the top of it. You fill the bag up and then just what it says, you squeeze it to force that water through the filter. Now the thing on this is the kit is about $42. Uh, the filter will do about 540 gallons per filter before you have to replace it. But the nice thing about this is it only weighs three ounces. So, if you are backpack style hunting or um, you want something in your pack for your day hunt that you can refill your bladder, the Sawyer Squeeze is a great option. Few downfalls on this. You're talking plastic. Plastic on the filter coming in. You can easily cross thread it, which means now all of a sudden you don't have that good seal and then as you're squeezing, you have a lot of water leaking out. The other thing is too, it has an O-ring when you're putting in, that O-ring can easily pop out and you can lose it. So make sure all the pieces and parts are in there. But if you're replacing that filter on a regular basis, you shouldn't have any problems. And like I said, it does come with three bags, so you have some options there. All right, another option, which is, another, uh, which is a squeeze style, this is the MSR trail shot so retails for about fifty dollars the weight on this is fifty or five ounces and it will do about 528 gallons per one now the one thing i really like about the trail shot is you have a few options here meaning it's 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 quick to come out deploy it you drop the pre-filter into the water and then you just start pumping now the one thing that's nice about this is while you're pumping, you can immediately use it and drink from it. So you're using it almost as a water fountain. You can squeeze it and fill a water bottle. Or the neat thing is, is if you wear a, a camel's back or a water bladder, you can take the mouthpiece off and connect the tube directly to this and just sit there and pump and fill your bladder with your pack on the back. So there's a few options. What's the best option for your style? Well, that depends on you. Me personally, the two that I use the most are the Katadyne Base Camp in camp. So that way, when I get to the base camp at night and, you know, I'm boiled some water, uh, I've got it in, in my dinner, letting it uh, heat up and, and rehydrate, I go ahead and refill my bladder, kind of get my pack ready for the next day. Now, I carry a three liter bladder. I prefer the camel's back because for me personally, I noticed having that mouthpiece on my shoulder strap of my pack, I tend to drink more water while I'm hiking. So I've done the water bottle before and I just don't drink as much water. So I prefer the bladder, that's my personal preference. So because of that, I also carry the trail shot because it is only five ounces and it actually does have a longer life or will do more gallons than most of the other options on there. So the Sawyer squeeze bag I have carried in my pack in the past and had great success with it. But now that I found the MSR trail shot, I'm tending to go this way more. So, all right, down below, we will put some links to each of these options and maybe a couple of others in each of the different categories. So the gravity fed, the pump, and the hand squeeze, and then the regular squeeze. Those are affiliate links, which means if you do click on those and purchase, we do make a small commission on it. Now, the commission money, we use that to buy more of these products so that we can test them for you guys so it really does help us out to be able to continue to bring these videos to you to you if you do purchase from one of those affiliate links all right guys so there's a few options on water filtration hope that was helpful to you as always thank you for tuning in we really appreciate your support as always guys keep calling keep practicing but most importantly have fun and we'll see you on the next video